It's week one of the NFL, and there's no love lost between these NFC North foes. It's the Snowhawks and the Tigers, and it's coming up next. Now from the great state of Illinois, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the second city of Chicago. Today we kick off the new year with an NFC North matchup as it will be the Snowhawks of Montreal and the Chicago Tigers. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they officially kicked this one off. season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. Now Jones and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And boy, has he got the full package. Loves the game, big time arm, 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he'll get about three up past the 25. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Here's Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Well, three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment, so this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. And off right side for Herbert. Down to about the 45. So you look at this new situation, it's worked in other places. You've got two teams in L.A. Until recently, we had two out of the Bay Area. Of course, two in the New York area. And now two teams calling Chicago home. And if these fans here are any indication, this... There he goes, left side! And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Here's Fields. Quick slant, caught by Moore. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Brings up second and five at the 12-yard line. Read option, here's Herbert. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Brings up second and goal. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields steps away. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Tigers are on the board here first in the season opener. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical? and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. 
they can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. And yeah, it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by a former first-rounder in his fourth year now out of Utah State, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Second and seven from the 20. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards, a first down. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field. But, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Here's Love. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Throwing. Love. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Love going to give this one to Jones. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Second and 10. On the delay, Jones. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They'll go with Jones. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Now Love, he's got this complete to Now a loose football, the ball comes out. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long, you start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect.
Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to see. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Aaron Jones taking it in from seven yards away. And the Snowhawks are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 20, here's the second and eight. Herbert once more. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Throwing on third down, Fields. And oh, it up. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. On first and ten, here's Fields. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. Clock runs, less than a minute to go, and an entertaining first quarter of play. On second down, here's Fields. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Fields now to throw. Under pressure and down he goes. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. From the 33, here's a second and eight. As they've got it as we resume action. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Now Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield. 
field almost to the 40 before being taken down. That third down conversion, good for 23. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And inside give to Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And his crew will take over with the football at the 45-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Back to throw. Fields. He's going to look deep for more. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. But something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Love looking to throw it. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Second down and eight. Again, it's Jones. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Love now. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Now Herbert to start the drive. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. 
It's so rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. It's now second and six at the 16-yard line. To pass, here's Jordan Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Jones. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Jones again, and this time he's in for the touchdown. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack, and you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line, and he's able to take it into the end zone. Carlson on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, four plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Play fake. Here's Love. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. To throw now, here's Love. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count. And a five-yard penalty ensues. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Love from the gun. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Touchdown! Luke Musgrave with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Snowhawks have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So we just witnessed touchdown number one for the Rook, and certainly that's a football he's going to want for the trophy case. Yeah, this is one that you don't spike, right? This is one you don't throw to your teammate and let them celebrate. This is one you keep for yourself, take it over to the equipment staff and have them mark it up, put it away, and then you get it later on. And as you said, mount it in your trophy case. Fantastic. Hopefully the first of many. Carlson's extra point up and good, and it's now 21-7. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
The Chicago offense set to get started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Field's going to keep it once more. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Fields. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now Fields. Time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. And he got caught in between and created a foul. I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six. To throw his fields. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Fields. And this is going to be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Love now to pass on first down. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 24 yard line. Love. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Here's Love. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Here's Daniel Whelan now. Here's Jones. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And it will be first to ten as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here's Fields. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. He was covered by Jair Alexander. Now it's Fields. 
Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, you've got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. Taking it about the 16. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. Well, the Montreal offense ready to take over now. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. On second down, it's Jones. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first and 10, Love. Throw caught by Musgrave. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, they got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, You've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there. And that's a play that's been involved the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. Love and not enough on the throw that time as that one is incomplete. 
So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and try to get back into this game. A couple of scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second down, they go back to Herbert. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And some room to work. Now, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Now motion left with Mooney. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Fields now to throw. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Kamet. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run with Herbert. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now a first down throw, Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three, ball on the 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They'll get that complete to Khalil Herbert. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. A play fake, now Fields to throw. Oh, feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. They'll wind up losing three yards there on the play as that'll lead to a second and goal. A handoff for Herbert. Yeah, he'll work three from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. It's now third and goal. Back to throw. Fields on the move to his left. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And this taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. But the Montreal offense ready to take over now. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to 
really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big ball here on third and very long. Now Love. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Chicago! Justin Fields already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Tigers have got it back to within a score. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Fields trying to throw for it, and he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. Let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And a Montreal first down. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delayed game. And that flag accepted. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Love looking to throw it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Brings up second down and 15 yards to go. On play action, Love to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 
Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop during a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. A 40-yard punt given three on the return. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now an option play on second down. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and five. Here's a give to Herbert. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Well, the Montreal offense ready to take over now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Second and a couple. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Some good games around the league here early in week one. And this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing. Love. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. A critical error there in a tight game with the four. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. On first and ten, it's Herbert, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second and 10 at the 
A shotgun snap, Fields. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Darnell Savage. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. The ball on the 32. It's second and two. From the shotgun to give to Jones. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Uh, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They're in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Jones, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Aaron Jones with now three week one touchdowns. And the Snowhawks will add to their fourth quarter lead. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Before the snap, they called for the heavy unit, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Carlson's extra point up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Jones now on the return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now Fields. Looks for the out route, and it's complete to commit. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. They find some open field here. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. I'd sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing like a well-oiled machine. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Field's going to keep it once more. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now Fields. 
And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. And that one, just an absolute killer. A chance to get this back within one score. All hope not gone yet. But at the same time, you're exactly right. They needed to get back within one score and have a motivated defense take the field in order to get it back for them for one last big drive. First down, going to the air with Love. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. On first down, Fields. But the man is connect the tight end. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll run. It's Herbert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 15-yard line. They'll go again with Herbert. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Here's third and six. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. Here's Fields. Over the middle complete. It's Moore. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hand. Should be a fairly easy one here. Santos kick is up and through and this is back down to a seven point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. Okay, so right. they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Kyler Gordon puts it off. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. I'm starting to wonder, Charlie, five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. And off right side for Herbert. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. On second down, here's the option. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The quarterback run good for 10 that time, but it does lead to a third down. Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. This is Herbert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. On second down, here's Fields. And this is caught at the end. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Well, this one's had a season's worth of thrills already, and it's still week one. Here's third down now. These are running back numbers that he's accumulated right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now it's fourth down and short. And whatever they do, run or pass it, they've got to pick up the first here. Yeah, and you mentioned running it. That is still an option. But as you've also said, they've got to do it quickly and get back to the line of scrimmage. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. He tried to keep it himself, but can't stretch his way in. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. In a design QB run in that spot, maybe trying to catch the defense off guard a bit. It didn't work, though. Again, we're seeing that college influence come into the NFL. Quarterback run game on fourth down. We didn't see that very much in the previous years in the NFL. No, seeing it more, saw it there, did not work out. Turnover on downs. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down 28-21, a little under 30 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Fields. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And remember now, a field goal does you no good. This is touchdown or bust territory. So they took a late shot for the end zone, but the defense, as they've been all game long, up to the task. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Well, this was not just 
just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Montreal, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Chicago, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.